All right, before I change to adult, I'd like to trade my mask back for the Mask of Truth. I won't go back to the desk as a child right away. I'm not even sure if it's going to be a useful hint. Uh, because there's something I actually want to do in the desert as an adult. Actually, it might not matter if I'm an adult or a kid. I just noticed that when I was editing the episode where I first get to Gerudo Desert, there is uh, near one of the palm trees, there's a crack in the wall. And I'm curious if that might be the fairy fountain that I'm looking for. Which would be kind of ironic, because I was talking about the fairy fountain just mere seconds before spotting that crack in the wall. But I didn't see it when I played, I just saw it when I was editing. Should I just go back and use the mask to talk to the fairy stuff? It feels like such a waste. It's like, I did that in one episode where I talked to like 50 fairy stones. Okay, it was not 50, but let's say it was 50. And the advice was mostly garbage. I'll save it for later. I'll... I'll consider checking it off camera, and if it turns out to be useful advice, I'll include it in the video. Maybe. I feel really bad about skipping content in the actual videos, though. I don't want to do anything off camera, to be honest. But, ah, uh, fairy stones. They've been so disappointing so far. They might not even be called fairy stones, they might be called gossip stones. Okay, what is the song to get to the desert, though? I haven't played in a bit, so I need to check. It's A down A, right down A. Ah, I wasn't too far from. I also want to grab the Golden Skull Tula during night time. Because I'm kind of curious what the next reward is. If it's an even bigger rupee bag, that would be nice for me. Because I keep not spending my rupees. I should, I just don't know what to spend them on. <laughs> Probably more bombs. Am I going to have to use a bomb tree for this wall because I don't have any bombs? Can I even use a bomb tree for the wall? It's like down this way. I ran into him. I wasn't looking closely at his trajectory or whatever Navi told me to look at. Alright, there is palm tree. I do believe there is a crack in the wall. Now, if I'm lucky, this bomb tree will blow up when it hits the wall instead of just going over the hilltop. Nope! Alright, I've got a shitty plan. I've got a shitty plan. This is gonna work, trust me. Okay, a little bit further away. <laughs> I'm gonna waste so much health here. Okay, stop facing enemies. No, stop facing enemies! That is ruining my plan! Don't make me go buy bombs! Alright. Come on. Okay, that's too far away. I'm wasting bomb juice for this. Okay, come on! I should get some bombs. Okay, I'll grab this whole tool because it's becoming night time. I'm also wasting a bunch of HP. Yep. These weavers are so annoying though. So I need to get on top of the little like plateau over here. And then I'll teleport to as close to Kakarika Village as I can. Was it this one? It probably was, wasn't it? No, it's this one. This one! Oh, I missed! No, I hit it! Hi. Alright, I'll bring this to Kakarika Village. What is the fastest way to get there? Is it just... to run from Hyrule Castle Market? I could also go to... the volcano, but I feel like that's further. And I will turn in the Golden Skull Tulas and buy some bombs. That sounds like a plan. These gloves look awesome. Are those the uh, silver gauntlets? They are, aren't they? Oh, that looks so nice. I love it. Oh, I can pick up the boulders near uh, Ganon's castle now. Should I do that? I might want to do that. That's so cheese. 
like, I mean, it's not cheese, but like, <laughs> it's probably something I should at least be doing after the temple. Let's go right now. <laughs> I just remembered that. I'm gonna do that right now. I want to see what's behind the giant pillar thing, because I assume I can move the giant pillar with these gauntlets. This was not the plan, but uh, we're we're improvising. This might also be a fairy fountain. That thing is huge. Because I can pick up this now, right? Yes. <laughs> Alright. Can I move this? Grab. Grab it. No? Am I still not stuck? Can I actually get golden gauntlets in this game? It doesn't let me grab it. I'm trying. I'm legitimately trying. So maybe there are golden gauntlets. I can't pick up those, though. Let me try to move as I carry this. Can I move? No, it's too heavy to move with. I was wondering if I could throw the boulder onto the giant pillar thing. So maybe there's golden gauntlets in this game as well. That begs the question, where the hell would I get golden gauntlets? Because it doesn't make sense for golden gauntlets to be in the shadow temple. Also, that giant pillar seems to have the same symbol that's on stuff in Gerudo Desert. That symbol has been in a lot of places, like on buttons and certain doors in other temples. So it might just be a symbol that means that there's a mechanism of some kind. I'm not 100% certain. It might make sense eventually. Actually, we should check once we beat the uh, Spirit Temple, because maybe it's the same symbol that's on the uh, medallion we get. I probably have to change it to daytime. How does that go again? No? There we go. Oh, it's still raining. Awesome. And <laughs> these guys are just back. I still want to get up there. But maybe I can do that with the long shots. Because there's something on the top there that might be grappleable. Is that a word? Grapplable or hookable? Uh, you don't sell bombs, but I should go to the Golden Skotula guy first. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah. Stop telling this story to- ah, bah, 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 Navi, don't. Stop telling this story to people, it's giving them childhood trauma. What a rude guy. Alright, who am I supposed to talk to? You? I'm so happy everyone is back to normal. Not you. How about you? Uh, nope. How about you? How about you? The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And... Oh, heart piece. That's a good way to heal to full. And what about the guy in the middle? Because he's not back to normal. Thank you for saving my kids. What? Me? Oh, that's okay. You have already destroyed 50 spiders of the curse so far, so that's fine. Don't worry about me. I had to do 100 for the last guy, don't I? Don't worry, it's happening. It's gonna happen eventually. Trust. Trust in my ability to find golden skotulas. Alright, uh, shop up here. And I suppose after the Spirit Temple, I should run around and see if I can find some secrets with the Silver Gauntlets. Yes, you have bombs. Kind of expensive, but, you know, I have so many rupees. Do I need arrows? I'll take ten. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm kind of considering getting rid of this blue fire, though. Here it is.
Oh, that's a bit laggy. Let's see, is there a fairy stone nearby? Uh, there probably is one, but there will also be one in Gerudo Desert, so uh, let's teleport back there. How is the rhythm for this dog? Is it? That's it, right? Yeah, kinda, yeah. I like playing the songs in the correct rhythm. It sounds less dumb if I do. But since I've never actually heard this song before this playthrough, I actually had to learn the rhythm of it. Oh, 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 okay. Also, my nose is a little sniffy today, if that <laughs> makes sense. I'm gonna try my best to make sure it doesn't affect the recording, but it's still a little annoying. Alright, don't touch me, don't touch me! I need to equip the bombs. If this turns out to not be a crack in the wall, I'm gonna be disappointed. It just looks kind of special. Yeah, even Navi is like symbolizing it. Symbolizing, indicating it. I keep saying symbolizing, I don't know why. Fairy fountain? Yes! Great fairy's fountain. I need to play the song. Oh, I had Ocarina equipped. My bad. I thought I didn't. <laughs> Speaking of playing songs in the rhythm, I have no patience when it comes to Zelda's lullaby. Welcome, Tarko. I am the Great Fairy of Magic, yes. I will give you a magic spell, please take it. <laughs> you got Nehru's Love! Okay, that's what it is. Cast this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. <laughs> Nehru's love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. When battle has made you wary, please come back to see me. Let's try it out. Oh, it feels good to have them all lined up. Oh, it even tells me how much magic it uses? Interesting. I mean, I don't know how much magic I have. Does this say? No. So this is quite expensive. Oh, neat. So it's a one-time cast and it gives me like a fixed duration shield, I assume. I kind of thought it would be a toggle. Kind of like the magic shield thing in Wind Waker or the um, cane of uh, Birna or magic cloak in A Link to the Past. It seems to last for a really long time though. So that's definitely worth it in my opinion. Like, if this stops all damage, that's insane. It's still going. Okay, so how exactly do I use the Silver Gauntlets to progress here? Do I just go up? Maybe it breaks when I take damage. Ah, oh, there we go. It's about to fade. 